Two years out from the presidential election, Donald Trump's team of advisors is trying to figure out how exactly they're gonna beat Ron DeSantis. And if you're wondering what overall strategy, what, what the tenor of the strategy is gonna be? Are they gonna go hard? Are they gonna be diplomatic? Keep it based on policy? Well, they have a fun little way to describe the strategy. Uh, this is where Trump kicks him in the nuts. So if you're wondering if it's gonna be a fun campaign, from our point of view, yes. Perhaps not from Ron DeSantis' point of view, but I think we're gonna enjoy it. Anyway, they have a few different strategies as to how they're gonna target the governor of Florida. Donald Trump is apparently getting personally involved in this. He's apparently taken part in discussions, asking what do we have on Ron? Which is a, a weird thing to ask a couple of months after you tweet cryptically that you have something on him and his wife. You've apparently got nothing if you're still asking, but they have found a few things. Some of them are actually based on policy. So one is in a Republican primary, only Donald Trump could effectively go after Ron DeSantis for wanting to cut Social Security. Trump has a track record of saying the right things in this issue, both when it comes to a general election and also Republican voters in a primary. Whereas for DeSantis, his record in the House is very much of the Paul Ryan and privatized Social Security platform type, which is just not where the voters are now. So. Imagine it, you got Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis on the debate stage, and it's just an hour long debate about the theory and strategy going forward for Social Security. I sort of doubt it, but they want us to believe that that's what it's gonna be like. They also are throwing around overall branding concepts. So for instance, Donald Trump is going to present Ron DeSantis as the establishment candidate. Which, if you wanted to know what the word establishment, what value it still has, the fact that the former president of the United States is gonna apply it to a person who's never been president, that seems sort of weird. But anyway, it's a mishmash of some policy, some accusations that Ron DeSantis isn't likable enough. They're really throwing everything against the wall. Michael, do you, do you think that any of this is gonna end up actually being a focus and what of it might actually help? I mean, it seems to a focus in Trump world for a finite period of time, and then they move away from that. So I think it will be a focus for as long as this the former president's able to keep it a focus. But he doesn't keep focus himself, so we'll move on to the next thing. What this will do, though, I mean, we're seeing it already, right? The Congress just. Uh, was just seated a couple of weeks ago. You're seeing uh, what's gonna make it very, very difficult for Kevin McCarthy and the House Majority Caucus of Republicans to govern because they are gonna be uh, you know, like at a tennis match, looking back and forth between these two guys, wondering what they should support, when they sh should support it. And a lot of them were part of the Paul Ryan wing of the party. Uh, they weren't all Freedom Caucus members and a lot of them think uh, along the same lines as Paul Ryan thought and that's going to be difficult too, uh, when they're gonna have to back one of these two people for president and Donald Trump is gonna be very demanding about early allegiance. I think you're setting yourself up for a, you know, more mess by him being in this race. Yeah, so we're gonna get to numbers in a second and show you who's winning between DeSantis and Trump if the election, or the primaries were uh, today. Um, but first, I wanna skip ahead to a Joe Scarborough clip. They were talking <laughs> about it this morning uh, because I think, um, it's telling and I wanna to react to it, so let's watch. Maybe yeah. DeSantis can take a punch. My guess is, just all of us talking right now, my guess is DeSantis says, wait a second, why do I go to the meat grinder that chewed up and spit out 16 Republicans politically? Why don't I let Trump run again? I'll serve out my term. I'll end up with you know 80% approval ratings among Republicans. And then in 26, I just opened my presidential campaign and I don't have to even take on Deal with this, yeah. the champ. Right, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that's probably what he's thinking in Tallahassee because I think he knows he does not want to cross Donald Trump on a debate stage. Okay, so let me get this right. Just a couple of what months ago, uh, the midterm elections happened. All of Trump's candidates lost, and everybody on TV is declaring that Trump is done and we can move on. People are having fireworks, having parties. Now all of a sudden, you know, Morning Joe's is about the epicenter of the establishment as it gets. Now all of a sudden, it's obvious that Trump can't be beat in a Republican primary, and that DeSantis should bow out. So as you'll see in the numbers in a second, they're basically tied. All right, look, uh, well, I get what Joe Scarborough is saying. I understand the logic of that political calculation. Having said that, 
you have either got the stomach for this or you don't. And if you're tied for you know, the Republican candidacy for the presidency of the United States of America and you don't run, you're a coward and you're never gonna win. Now, when you run next time, you're also gonna be scared. You're gonna be scared of, oh, what is she gonna say? What is he gonna say? And you're not gonna win. What winners do is they seize a moment like this and they pounce on it and they and they deliver and they don't worry about, oh, what about Trump? Mm-hmm. But I think that they yeah. might be right, that DeSantis might be a coward. Uh, and, and I know that he didn't say that and he did as a, he didn't views it as good strategy. Uh, but I think he's scared of Trump. Yeah. Yeah, I think, look, there, there's there's the possible dichotomy between whether he's done in general elections or he's done in the primary, that's one thing. And then there's the difference between can you beat him in the primary versus what is going to happen to you during the primary going forward? Will he potentially permanently poison you know, uh, the view of you for a lot of different Republicans. I would be worried if I was Ron DeSantis. I understand that they all think that he's this big culture warrior because he gives a speech about Disney that they never respond to and he seems strong or something. But if you look at his cringy little face, if you hear the weak way that he speaks, he seems like he wouldn't even be one of the more impressive ones to try to take down Donald Trump back in 2016. I think he's gonna say a couple of snippy little things when Trump isn't anywhere near him. And if they ever share a stage together, I think he is going to get absolutely mauled. That does not mean that he couldn't beat him anyway. Maybe if he spends the rest of his time on the stump attacking vulnerable groups that the Republican Party wants to see driven into the shadows, maybe he could maintain his reputation in that way. But stepping out for someone who I do think is probably a coward isn't the worst strategy, but you do have to also gamble that just because Donald Trump looks like he's on his almost literal last legs. And everybody's counting out that he couldn't, even if he's on life support in four years, that he couldn't run again. Donald Trump seems to be the sort of person that is never gonna let someone else take the spotlight. And so even if there's almost nothing left of him in a four years, he might still try to get Republican crowds to cheer for him. So I think that there's a bit of a risk regardless. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.